So guys, would I give it a thumbs up? Hey guys, um, I'm sure you've all heard about a camper hot water geyser system, something to that effect, which is instant hot water uh, connected to your gas. Uh, we bought one, but this weekend is the first time we're using it. So I was quite um, not interested, let's put it that way, because there's some good reviews, some bad reviews. This is our experience so far. We've been here for two days, used it for two days now. So I thought I'd give you a quick demo. Imagine you've just rolled up at the sea, so you might have a bit of noise in the background. And in your trailer, you have your camper hot water system geyser. I'm sure I'm saying it right. But this is where I've elected to store it. I'll try and turn around for a good demo. This line is connected to our gas bottle over there. Gas bottle of your choice. In here, we have all our hose pipes that we need. So it all sounds very simple, hot water on demand on a campsite, it's portable, right? There's a little bit of more going on in here than you might realize at first glance. First of all, we need some water. And you need a nice big water can with a nice big opening. And the reason for that is so that our dunkable water pump can go in there. Or you can just fill a bucket with water if you like. It's also an option. So there is our water inlet, which is connected to our water pump. The water pump needs some electric power. And on that topic, this is connected to your battery, 12 volt. You can connect your shower head to this, or you can use it with a little Know these things to do your dishes so now you got warm water doing your dishes if you're on a remote place not on a campsite for the demo we're going to put the shower on because that's the whole point of this effort right so we clip this on here make sure they are clipped quite nice and tight and that's all there is the shower has an on and an off which is a uh, perverse but all you do now, your gas is connected, your water pump is connected, your shower is connected, and your power line to your battery is connected. That's all here now. You can set your temperature and your water flow. Minimum, maximum. All you need to do now is switch it on. On button. Look at that flow, huh? That's the high, that's the low. Hot water. It's not instant, but now it's warm water, which is really cool. And you can set your low and high. Oh, that is really cool. This is a recycling water, uh, <laughs> number one. Turn it off, it stops instantly. So as soon as you switch it on, it starts running, and switch it off, it stops. What we do have here is two exhausts on the, this is an exhaust. So that is where the hot air comes from your uh, gas, which is heating up the water. So you can't reuse really this inside a closed space. You need a lot of airflow coming around. But beyond that, it's portable as long as your gas line is or you move your gas bottle with you that's it and you need a 12 volt connection what they do give you is a long 12 volt connection so you could actually go and stand on the beach and have your shower if you want stop traffic all of that but yeah it works which is really nice I mean you always wonder about these things if they're actually going to be as advertised right it's pretty easy once you figure it out you need a big container, all of the other stuff. It is one weird comment for me, is the front is all nice and cool. It looks quite smart and quite hip and pretty snazzy, but all the action is in the back. You do the math. 
So guys, would I give it a thumbs up? I think so. It's been very good, it works. It's a bit of a fiddle to get it all set up. Your gas lines, your power. I've been impressed by the consumption. This is a 13 liter water container and we've used it for two days uh, in a row now. Both of us coming out of the water, rinsing off the seawater. Uh, it's not hot, hot water. It's like 35 degrees at the maximum, but it's good enough, I think. I don't, I'm not sure how it'll work in the middle of winter. Um, it's compact enough. It's not too heavy. It doesn't use much water, as you can see, and it's on demand. Flick it on, it comes on, switch it off, and it's done. So, thumbs up for me. I hope you've been informed a little bit. Maybe it's giving you some more ideas and uh, maybe a bit of entertainment. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one and keep rolling.